Well, with Easter Sunday just days away, orders are already stocking up for the traditional hot cross buns. In this week's What's on Your Plate feature, Keisha Bethel tells us about a tropical spin on the Bahamian favorite. And just like that, my journey to making my very first batch of a hot cross bun began. So what we're going to do now is stop this so we can add the raisin. Yes, add the raisin. Do it, yes. That's the traditional way. No. Did I mention that I hate eating raisins? So is there some sort of an alternative? Yes, you can use a coconut. You also have guava. I um, like the sound of guava. Okay, guava. So yes. would you like guava in yours? Please. Are you sure you want guava? Yes, positive. The smell of the fresh guava mixed with spices was amazing. Then it was time for the kneading and proof process. We want this to rise. Rolling the buns, there's a special technique. Press, roll, and cut. Now it was back to proofing. Before placing them into a 325 degree oven. 20 minutes later. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Then we glaze them. Finally, we crossed the buns. So Keisha, now you see how to make hot cross buns so you can go home and probably try it yourself. Just for me, and what I love about it is that I don't have to eat it with the raisins. From the University of Bahamas, I'm Chef Ellie. And for ZNS News, I'm Keisha Bethel. And, and this, this is what is on our plate. plate. <laughs>